So Zagreb might not have the blue water, the sandy beaches, and the beautiful coastline that everyone associates with Croatia, but we can say from experience that it is a seriously underrated travel destination, and we think that you should visit. So not part of this list specifically, but part of what we thought made Zagreb so special is the people. Uh, the architecture is absolutely beautiful, and the city itself is just is just full of surprises. There is so much to do there and there's absolutely no way that we could fit everything into this one video. But what we do want to cover off is our top nine reasons why you should visit Zagreb and the top things to do while you're there. So if you're new here, we are Dane and Stacey. We travel full time, very slowly actually, and we create vlogs of our experience along the way and odd helpful videos here and there like this one. Um, we spent one month living in Zagreb and the fact that we're even making this video should probably show just how much we enjoyed our time there. So in the video description below, I'll have links for these individual videos that relate to a good portion of the things that we'll uh, cover off and the reasons why. Uh, and just quick note, if you've got a trip coming up anywhere in the world as well, in the description there'll be uh, discount codes for either Airbnb or hotel stays. But uh, let's just jump straight into number one. First thing on our list is a food dish that's really specific to this part of Croatia. It's called strukli and it's a type of filled pastry made with dough and it can be served sweet as a dessert or savoury, baked in the oven. They come boiled, dipped in cream and some even come in soups. Our favorite was the cottage cheese one that was really creamy and salty. You can get sweet ones too, like apple and cinnamon, which we tried, but it was, it was interesting. So, it was okay. So, Zagreb is the spot to get it though, and worth coming to just for this alone. Cost is a second reason. So, Zagreb might be the capital of Croatia, but the prices are nowhere near as big. So, if you're a budget traveler, uh, you'll be stoked to know that it competes with a lot of well known cheap Eastern European cities that we've visited. It is, Croatia as a whole is really polarizing though because once you visited the coast like Split and Dubrovnik and Hvar uh, you're going to start to see that the prices are like 20 maybe to 50 percent even higher in those tourist areas. We've covered price a few in a few different videos one with the daily costs of supermarkets, gym, coffee, food and then another one with a full summary of our living costs for a month in Zagreb so we'll link those in the description and move on to number three. This may seem like a weird thing to include, but trust us, it's worth it. Going to a football game in Zagreb was seriously one of the craziest, most random and memorable experiences of late. Okay, so Zagreb Dinamo are the local football side and they're currently top of the table. The real show isn't necessarily the football, it's the supporters that come along with it and they're called the uh, Bad Blue Boys. <laughs> And the thing that was crazy for us was that they get flares and fire and it just goes off in the stadium. It was honestly really cool for us to see. The funny thing is we've since had a lot of other locals from around Croatia comment and say that's nothing. If you want the real pyro you've got to come to Split or you've got to come to this other place. We don't want to create any beef here but uh, if you're going to Zagreb it's, it's the thing to do. Walkability is a massive reason as well because it's probably one of the easiest cities to explore that we have visited in quite some time. Uh, we mainly walked but the trams are really efficient as well and there's just so many walking streets and squares and places to stumble across that was part of that reason why we said that it just kept surprising us. It's super safe as well and it just sort of fits any style of travel. There's something there for you. It also fits this new game that we made up on Instagram. <laughs> so one day uh, we decided that each of us would pick a turn to pick the direction. So we'd get to a corner and one person would have to say left or right and it was serious. It was so funny but kind of sketchy. It's a rainy day today in Zagreb so we're doing a new thing. You've got to walk around the city and Every corner, one person has to pick which way we go. Left. Left? Yeah. Okay, cool. You can see it. Oh, great. Oh, it's still a great choice, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it. Nice park. We've got left. I think we've been that way before. Let's go right. Right? right. We found a random staircase. We're just going to walk up and see where it goes. This is where you cue the scary mu uh, music. Do, do, do. Oh, it's not sharks. It's got very weird. <laughs> We're in a, scary. What would you call this? Like a residential park or something? I would call this where people get murdered. It's a very creepy little neighborhood we're in now. This game was lots of fun before. There's no noise other than your jacket. <laughs> where are we? 
Speaking of that walkability, it's super easy to go full-blown tourist mode and see a whole heap of iconic things in one day. Zagreb Cathedral is the tallest building in Croatia and it also has a pretty rough history with like fires and attacks and earthquakes. We felt quite sad for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's 108 meters tall, so it looks pretty cool. It's very impressive. There's also things like St. Mark's Cathedral. It has a really stunning uh, tiled rooftop and old war tunnels, uh, which we sadly didn't get to see. There's also Banjalicic Square, which was a spot where uh, Croatia, well, sort of had their big celebrations after they came second in the World Cup, celebrating their heroes. Uh, and honestly, so much more. We can't. We just can't go into it, but those were a few of our favorites anyway. Number six is the craft beer, and I'm owning this one all by myself <laughs> because I drank so much of this beer. So the, the craft beer in Zagreb is possibly the best that we've ever tasted, or definitely the most unique anyway. So our favorite was this uh, beer that was red in color, but it had a creamy taste, which would not normally be our sort of pick. So the addiction was strong, uh, and the kick was probably just as strong as well. It made me go a little bit crazy a few times. So it was called Medvigrad, which can be found in a few different uh, like bars around town and they make their own craft beer. You gotta hunt them out. Uh, don't forget to order, well this is your thing, isn't it? Your yeah, favorite. do not forget to order the salted cheese croissant. You will not regret it. Best craft beer ever. And so naturally you've got to get a couple of croissants as well. Salted cheese though. There are heaps of markets to be found around Zagreb, but the most popular one is next to the main square. And we find that it's always a good way to hang out with locals and get off the tourist path and eat lots of amazing food. So the reason that we're saying that this is a reason to come is because there were so many wasps there. And instantly you might be thinking, that's a bad thing. Well, <laughs> that's what we thought as well. After so long in Asia, we assumed at first that they were flies, but we've since learned that it's actually really positive that the wasps are there and they mean you no harm either. But the good sign is that there are no pesticides in use, that the produce is fresh, and that the fruit is really sweet, otherwise they wouldn't be there. So that's good. Coffee in Zagreb in particular is on a whole nother level. We spent I think almost two months in Croatia and we have to say the coffee in Zagreb is awesome. And for something different, you can always go and try the Turkish coffee heated in sand, which was a local recommendation that we got, and it was crazy cool to see. So our final reason is not strictly something to do in Zagreb, but it definitely is a good reason to visit. The location of the city is actually amazing, considering how close it is to so many other things around it. So the Plitvitz Lakes are really close by, and they're one of the most popular things to do in Croatia. You can get to the coast within three or four hours driving, uh, and there's so many other amazing little cities and small towns and nature and just everything seems close by. The locals are always happy to share recommendations and we had so many things that were on our list that we just sadly didn't get to. But what we did get to do was just pop over to Slovenia for a weekend and it was only a so couple random. hours away. We took the bus for a mission just for the weekend and we absolutely loved it. And that's it for our nine reasons to visit. The, the list honestly could be so much bigger if we had more time, but we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have you ever considered Zagreb and has this potentially changed your minds or the vlogs that we did, did they change your mind? Because it definitely surprised us. Or if you've visited before, what's the main things that we've missed that's gonna lead to some hate speech in the comments below? So if you're a local, I'm sure there's reasons that we've missed that you think is worthwhile. Maybe leave a comment and other people can read them. Either way, it's safe to say that Croatia is now one of our favorite places in the world and Zagreb had really, really surprised us. One of our biggest surprises of the last few years of traveling full time. So to wrap it up, you should visit Zagreb. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.